So not every day is created equal and not every day is a struggle, but not every day is blissful. Today is going to be one of those days that are not so blissful. It's a ordinary Monday in the life of a mom that is homeschooling, trying to maintain a healthy plant-based diet, all while juggling twins that are a year old, a three-year-old and a five-year-old. So welcome to my day. Boy, so mad. You want your smoothie? Daddy's at work. Hey, God, get down, okay? Teeth, okay. Get in your chair and I'll give. I'll let you brush your teeth, okay? Teeth? Yeah, God, get down though. Ready? Say thank you. Got a smoothie? Look at the pattern. Did you get the first pattern right? Yellow, orange. Yellow. Good job. Keep up the good work, Mom. Okay, let's see. Say thank you. Say thank you, Mom. Sissy. Thank you, Big Sissy. Is it yummy? <laughs> I see you. Is it, is it yummy? Is it yummy? <laughs> is yours yummy? <laughs> a bite? Is it yummy? A bite. You have a bite. You have a bite. Oh, yummy. Oh, I, mommy's not hungry yet. You eat it. Write an A or a B on each like line to look at So, what is this? What did you do while I went to the potty? I'm asking you why. You can't ask me why back, silly girl. What is this? Who did that? Did you do that? Why? I don't know why. Where are you going? Um, to plant flowers. To plant flowers, okay. This is what happens when you go to the room for a few minutes to make a business call. We're trying to sell our car, and I come back in to this naked child. Yeah. So, 
what is going on right now is we are in the process of selling our Suburban. And I am in the process of calling the DMV and my bank to try to figure out how I can do the wire transfer and how we can do the bill of sale and how we can transfer the title because the buyer lives in a different state. We still don't have the vehicle paid off, so it's a mess. And in that process, this is what's happening in here. We're playing without mail. Yeah, it's not something to be proud of. So I'm at a stopping point. Um, I think we've kind of figured out what we're gonna do now. Um, and I started to come clean this mess up, but you know, they're just actually playing really good and I'm just gonna leave it. So it is what it is. I haven't got to eat breakfast yet, so this is what I threw together. I had leftover black beans. We went to a like cookout last night. And it was um, Mexican themed. So I have leftover black beans. And these are literally a bunch of crumbs of tortilla chips. Because I didn't have any chips left. There are sweet potatoes mixed in here. Roasted cubed sweet potatoes. Pico de gallo. And then some hot sauce on top of it all. And this is what I'm eating. <laughs> All right, so I just pretty much just locked all the kids outside <laughs> because there's nothing else I can do. Um, it is really hard being at home with four kids. Like, really, really hard. For example, as I was cleaning up the huge oatmeal mess that I just kind of like had put behind me and I was gonna let them play with it for a little while, as I'm cleaning that up, one of the babies gets on the counter because they can push the chairs around in the kitchen so they get into like everything. And she like just dumps the sugar everywhere on the other side of the kitchen that I had already cleaned. So then I put that up as I'm putting this away. And so the babies had the markers and one of them marked on the couch. So now I have that, which I'm not even worrying about now. But as I was explaining to the big girls, like as you finish playing with one thing, you have to put something else up. One of the babies takes her diapers off and just pees all over the floor. So it's like, now I have the sugar, the oatmeal, the marker, and the pee. I have all of that still to do. We've literally done maybe an hour of schooling today. So we still have like all of her schooling to do. And it's just like, I, it is so overwhelming. So hard. It is so hard being at home. It is so hard. And I know it's all gonna be worth it. But guys, a lot of this is mental. I totally get that. But there's a certain line where it's like, is this actually just like me like stress, putting stress on myself? Because you can't just leave oatmeal and you can't just leave sugar like shredded all through your house and continue your day. Like at some point I have to catch up. I still have breakfast dishes from this morning that I never got to and I have all these messes now. And it's like, you can't just mentally look past all that because you're actually physically tramping it everywhere and making more of a mess. So, yeah. So I just, I literally locked them outside and said, you're not allowed inside. And that's all I know to do. Like, and now I'm going to take 30 minutes and hopefully get all this done and then we'll go right back into school. So, it's not a luxurious life by no means. But... Hopefully, in the long run, it pays off. Anyway, rant done. I gotta clean while they're outside. <laughs> Okay, Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go get in your cribs. Close your eyes. Yeah. 
<laughs> I guess that's a common last name. Yeah, I mean, it's not like as common. And honestly, like I thought about it a lot before I decided to do it. So the babies are now sleeping and Lila is working on her computer work and this is when I like to kind of take some time to just decompress myself. So I usually put on a podcast. Today's podcast was actually about uh, mental health with Dr. Will Cole and this kind of just helps me pull myself back together. I use this time to also straighten up and finish up anything that I haven't got completed through the day. Um, so I also took this time to get some laundry done. This podcast was actually 40 minutes, so I just utilized that full 40 minutes on doing stuff that I needed to get done. And once the podcast ended, I made that my stopping point for my housework. And then we just picked back up with some work, some schoolwork that we did, and we actually involved Emmy in this as well. So we'll get into that next. All right, we're going to read a poem called... Monday's child. Monday's child is fair of face. Tuesday's child is full of grace. Face? Grace. Yes, good job. Okay, so this story, this little poem has a lot of rhymes in it, but it's also about the days of the week. So remember, it starts on what day? Monday. shadow oh lord have mercy
Look at all this! Who is doing this? <laughs> was our full day thank you so much for watching you know I like debated whether or not to insert the true raw moments like my little mental breakdown but then I realized you know that's what our life is about and I try to not always put like the little arguments or the stuff like that I try to not always put it because I want this channel to be like uplifting and positive but I also want you guys to understand that I'm a real person and sometimes it's hard and yeah, so that was that. Make sure to subscribe. I have not been posting on my regular Wednesdays due to our new found homeschooling routine, but I am going to continue to try to post, so make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, so you will be notified when I upload my next video. Thanks again for watching. I know I tried to make her mine But at the same time I know love is hard to find